I was born in Soviet Union and uh, over 40 years ago. And then it all, when I was in, just graduating from college, it basically went to hell in a basket. Like the whole country just fell apart, right? It was a global, like, I don't know. It is just like this. It's very much like today, right? We're seeing it's, it's crazy. The world is changing. We don't know what's going to happen. Uh, mass hysteria, people buying flour and uh, sugar in the stores. Not so much toilet paper, but you know, all the basic necessities. <laughs> um, and there's, Other a, there's staples. Of, yeah, it's exactly all the staples, except it's a Russian version, right? Soviet version. Uh, and there's a lot of uh, crime and lawlessness. So uh, it was just basically the end of the world as, you know, my first introduction to the end of the world scenario. Um, so then I immigrated to the United States and I went um, to law school and uh, graduated and practiced law for 11 years, lived in Hawaii. And um, no, I think, I think it's important to, to know about Elena is that she went to law school. She barely spoke any English yeah. and they tried to kick her out. Yeah, I was also pregnant. So I was nine months pregnant, barely speaking English. I knew, I knew how to read and write, just how I got in, because it's a written test, right? Um, but uh, after they Dang. saw me, they looked at me and they're like, you may want to reconsider because, you know, who are you, right? So how dare you? So um, that was the message. Uh, and then my classmates actually stepped in and they're like, no, we got you. We got your back. And that was my first introduction to both bureaucracy as well as the community, right? So it was a very, very much like I understood right away what is a good thing, what is not a good thing. So uh, the community embraced me. They helped me with the notes, uh, just moral, you know, understanding the morally they're on my side and they kind of have me, have my back was very powerful. So I was able to graduate at the uh, top 10 or 15% of my class, despite my you know, improper English. Uh, and my mom came out and watched my kids. So that's how I was able to do it, to do it both ways, you know. So uh, I practiced law, absolutely loved it. Law is such an equalizer. You can be a foreigner, you can be a girl, you can be a minority, but kick everybody's ass. Um, <laughs> you, <you're> prepared, <laughs> that's awesome. Right? <laughs> that's so great. Yeah. yeah, so I had a lot of fun. I um, retired before I was 40 and I lived in Europe a couple of years. And then the crisis struck here in U.S., and um, I'm very cheap. So I told my husband, like, fly back uh, to U.S. and buy everything you see in Las Vegas, uh, Detroit, and Florida. And he's like, I don't want to. I don't want to do this. And I said, No, you have to do it. Don't come back until you buy something. So he went out and he bought a bunch of properties in Las Vegas. Those like investment properties. And of course, they all like double or triple in price since, right? So we bought them at almost nothing. And so when uh, we got tired of Europe, we decided to come back. I had two kids by then. We decided to come back and. Um, settled here in Vegas. And, um, and then my best childhood friend from back in Uzbekistan, where I'm from, a former Soviet Union, she uh, immigrated to the United States and she said, help me find a job. And I said, well, that's a little bit challenging because you don't speak English, you don't drive a car, you're an architect who speaks Russian, you know, there's not a lot of, you know, utility to your skills. Um, so we decided to start a cleaning company and it kind of, um, because it doesn't require capital investment, I think we spent all of a thousand dollars total and used my own home cleaning supplies in the vacuum cleaner. And uh, it just exploded. We were voted uh, best of Las Vegas first year in business. And we had, by the second year, we bought our own building. Uh, and then fourth, fourth year in business, we were voted, um, the, we got an award for SBA Small Business of the Year for the state of Nevada. We flew to DC, accepted the award. So it's been a wild ride for sure. And then, you know, Brandon, I met Brandon through Josh Latimer and I got in, embroiled in Conquer and I absolutely love it. It's my favorite thing now. I love that more than even doing business. 